Well, I think I learned the secret to touch sensitive gloves. Let's try it out. Hey YouTube, this is Jerry here. Uh, just wanted to share something with you I heard on a podcast. I'm not sure how many of you people listen to it. It's called High Side, Low Side. A couple guys from Revzilla, um, Spurgeon Dunbar and uh, Zach Quartz. Um, Zach Quartz does some pretty cool rides to work motorcycle reviews for what that's worth. But anyway, as they were finishing this last week's podcast, um, someone sent in a question about making your own touch sensitive gloves with dish soap and I have graphite lubricant uh, said pretty much mix the graphite lubricant with some dish soap put it on your gloves and then see what happens uh, these are my old built gloves nothing exciting can't unlock anything can't do anything with my phone Got some dish soap. Got some graphite. Let's see what happens. Um, I think it would. This is going to have to dry overnight, so this is definitely a two-parter. Um, looks kind of gooey. I don't know if it's going to focus in on that. I said these are some old gloves, so I'm not that worried about it. Should be more worried about the Mrs. Ramekin that sacrificed itself to be filled with graphite. Uh, if this works, this should be good. These are probably my oldest gloves, but they always seem to be my go-to. Um, they have a nice leather. The padding's kind of thin now. A little bit of support, but they're vented on the sides. So, Ugh. come on, internet. Let me learn something from you. Not just for porn anymore. I didn't do my thumbs. Don't really need my thumbs. Just some sticky fingers. Let it dry. Maybe overnight. Wash the soap off and see what happens. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this. I'm back again. It's a few days later. Uh, it's been pretty cold here and rainy, and so not much fun going on. Uh, got my two gloves ready. Uh, just looking at the fingertips. Um, they are a different color. I don't even know if you guys will be able to pick up on that or if the camera can focus. The top portion's a little bit grayer. So let me have my phone. Try it. Finger number one. Mm. Now, I usually have the finger unlocked, so I don't know how that's going to work. So let me get to, ah, uh, you know what? What's up, mother truckers? Look! Oh, this would be awesome. Amazon Music, I can hit my playlist. Nice! It's a little clumsy, just because of the whole glove, whatever form is going on. But I like it. I'll be able to use it when I ride. Change my playlist. At red lights only. I uh, don't know if I mentioned it or it's going to get edited out somewhere. Um, the reason I wanted to do this was just because of uh, the time it takes to take my gloves off at a red light. It's always, I don't know, maybe I'm just special. All right, let's lock it. I don't have a fingerprint, so I get to my little keypad. Let's try it. Wait, why am I going to show you my password? Got my calendar, can see what's going on. 
Got a little music. A little piano man. All right. So that did work. I'm a little surprised. So if anyone wanted to try to use this, I just use this normal graphite lubricant. I think I got it at an Ace Hardware store to spray in a lock for a car that was uh, having some problems. Um, I used dish soap to apply it. Um, I cannot feel any th texture difference. Uh, I'm sure it'll wear off. Maybe if it did, an option would be like that spray on adhesive, something like that to keep it uh, on there a little bit longer. Uh, only one rainstorm away and I'm sure it's off. But how about that? I made my own touch sensitive gloves. Thank you, internet. All right, well, thank you for watching and hopefully the sun will be coming out soon and we'll be able to get back out on twos. Everyone ride safe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.